Hi guys, today we are going to see how you can control your computer right from your mobile phone just like this. Having a remote access like this would really be helpful if you are away from your computer and you still need to access it. So after watching this video, you can easily control your computer right from your mobile phone anywhere in the world and at any time you want. This means you can do all things that you want to do on a computer by just using your mobile phone and an internet connection. And we will also see how you can transfer files between your mobile and your computer. Now to do these things, we are going to use a software called GetScreen. Using GetScreen, you can also control multiple devices. It can be Windows, Mac, Linux or even Android devices. All you need to do is just install GetScreen on your computer and mobile phone, then connect your mobile to PC. And it's done. Now you can start controlling your computer from your mobile phone. It's that simple. And the process we are going to do in this video will work on both iOS and Android phones. I am Brian from Website Learners and let's start controlling our computer right from our mobile phone. Now to control your PC, we are going to do three steps. The first step is to create an account on the GetScreen software. This is the software which will help you control your computer from your mobile phone. So to create your account, just click the link below this video and it will take you to this page. Now click sign up and you can enter your email address to sign up. Or you can also use these options. I am going to sign up with Google. So let's click here, select your Google account and it will take you to the GetScreen dashboard. Okay, so now we have successfully created our account on the GetScreen software. Once you have created your account, we can now go to step 2 which is to download the GetScreen software. So to download it, just click add a device and you will get this pop-up page. Now here you can download the GetScreen software based on the OS you have. I'm going to download for Windows. So let's click here. And you can see that the GetScreen software has been downloaded on our computer. Now just click on the downloaded file. Then you will get this window. As you can see, it is requesting to access your desktop. So let's click agree. Then click install. And the GetScreen software will be installed on your computer. Now if you click permanent access, you will get the access details to control your computer. Once you get these access details, now you need to sign in to get the GetScreen software using the same email ID. Only then you will be able to control your computer from your mobile phone. So let's go to the final step which is to sign in to GetScreen on your mobile phone. So to sign in, just take your phone, then go to Chrome and search for GetScreen. Then click on this link and it will take you to this page. Now to sign in to get screen, click here and then click sign in. Now you need to sign in to your get screen account using the same email ID. I am going to use my Google login. So let's click here and select your Google account. Then you will be signed into your get screen account and your PC will be displayed like this. Now to start controlling your computer, Make sure your computer is turned down and it is connected to the internet. Then you will get this online status for your computer. So now if you click connect here, you will be able to see your computer screen on your mobile phone. This means your mobile is successfully connected to your computer. And now you can start controlling your PC from your mobile phone. And also, you can easily control your PC from any other phone just by signing in to get screen on your browser. If you want to see in full screen, just swipe down the mobile screen and then here turn on auto rotate and your screen will be changed to landscape. Now here you can find the different tools to control your PC. You can use these tools to access the mouse cursor, keyboard and more. Now to use the cursor, click on this arrow. So now if we swipe on our mobile screen, you can see that the mouse is moving on our computer screen. So this way, you can browse on your computer. Next, you can click on this keyboard option to access the keyboard. And if you want to browse the internet on your computer, just click on your browser and the browser will be opened. Now you can click here, then you will get the keyboard. Now you can type and search for anything you want. I am going to type www.youtube.com. Then if you press enter, you can see that it takes us to the YouTube page. Okay, so in the same way, you can use these tools to control your computer. Next. Let's say you want to go to the file manager and access your files. All you have to do is 
just click on file manager now here you can choose the folder and access your file in the same way you can access anything you want on the computer so now you know how you can control your pc from your mobile phone next let's say you want to transfer some files from your computer to your mobile phone how will you do that so next let's see how you can transfer files from your computer to your mobile phone so to transfer the files click on this folder icon and click download file from remote desktop then you will get this page here you can choose the folder you want i'm going to choose downloads then select the file you want to download now if you click download your file will be successfully downloaded to your mobile so now if we open the file you can see the image which we downloaded from our pc okay now you know how to transfer the file from your computer to the mobile next what if you want to upload some files from your mobile to the computer it's very easy to do that now like we did before click here and then click upload files to remote desktop then choose files and then select the folder you want i'm going to choose pictures now select the file you want to upload and here you need to choose a folder to upload your file to your computer i'm going to choose downloads now if we click upload you can see that the file is uploading to our computer now if we go to file explorer and click downloads and the file has been successfully uploaded so this is how you can transfer files from your mobile to your computer okay so that's it guys this is how you can control your computer from your mobile phone now if you want to know how to use your phone as a monitor you can watch this video and if you want to know more about wordpress you can check out our courses here also make sure you click the subscribe button to see more videos from us so thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video take care bye bye